Saving money at the grocery store, it starts before you even leave the house. Experts say you got to make a plan and follow it in order to lead to some big savings. So you're telling me I need a grocery list? Yeah, I never have I one. might need a list. Terry <laughs> Carnes has some valuable tips for families struggling to fill the pantry. Don't go to the grocery store without a plan. Saving money requires preparation, and to financial planning expert Dr. Michael Thomas of the University of Georgia, that means creating a meal plan to pinpoint items you want to buy, then setting a budget that dictates how much you can spend. That can be on a weekly basis, on a weekly basis, on a bi-weekly basis, or for the month. And you can ebb and flow with that, but you have to be accountable to your spending plan. Stick to the shopping list that you've created based on your budget and meal plan. Dr. Thomas says it's important to look for coupons and sales, but you have to incorporate that into your plan. So not only do we have our spending plan, now we have the sales ad, and then we're taking both of those pieces of information and basically meal prepping uh, for the week, at least on paper, this is what we're going to go to the store and buy. This is what we're going to say. Consider off-brand products instead of name brand items. If you are used to paying $3 for a loaf of bread, uh, there may be an off-brand option that's a dollar. That's $2 savings for one purchase. Some experts suggest shopping alone. Bringing your children or spouse might bring demands for items that aren't on your list and aren't within your budget.